Hey guys, it's me. How we all doing out there? I am, as always, living the dream. LaDonna here. I uh, hope you guys are all living your dream too. Um, today, today we're going to talk about people who are probably having a worse day than you are. You know when you get up and things just aren't going your way? Well, these people are probably doing way worse off than you. Or at least somewhat. So, uh, again, I really want to take a minute... If you guys haven't, please like, share, and subscribe. And for those of you that have, please know that I really appreciate it. I really do. Keep liking. Keep pressing that bell. Keep sharing. Please. Please, please, please. It really helps my channel. So, anyway, let's jump right into the fun stuff. Um, so, this first one here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, imagine you've booked your flight on a plane. And you went business class because you want a little privacy. And you look over and there is some gnarly, raggedy foot on your armrest, on your seat. I'm not sure where that is, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in your personal space. Dude, first off, I'm setting your foot on fire. You are about to straight up have a Freddy Krueger foot. No, move, move your foot. Why would you ever think that's okay? No. Get rid of that foot. Get it out of here. What if you did that and the person sitting there had like a foot fetish and the next thing you know somebody's licking your damn toes? Oh! But you would deserve that. You would deserve that. Move your foot. Put it in your own damn space. Buy your own business class if you want privacy. Get your foot out of here. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so sincerely, think about this, guys. So you go to the bathroom somewhere, chances are work or a bar or wherever, and in the bathroom, there is, I mean, it's really like new underwear off the hanger. Somebody's having a real shitty day. That's the only thing. So Now, I know curiosity wants to get the best of you, and you want to open the trash can, but you don't. You don't want to, because there's nothing good in there. There's nothing good in there. This guy's having a really bad day. His day's worse than yours, I promise. No Monday you've ever had is comparing to this guy's day right now, because he has obviously shat himself. Maybe he's over 40, and he, doesn't, he didn't know if it was a short, but it was. And now he's had to change his drawers at work. It's a bad day. That, my friends, is a bad day. All day. Mm. If you have kids, you should not own an iron. I have children. I do not own an iron. And this is why. This is why. This was definitely the direct result of some child who wanted to have toasted marshmallows. And being the geniuses that children are, they thought, ooh, the iron gets hot. Hot? Marshmallow? Yes. Sign me up. And this is what happened. I don't... I don't even know how you would fix this. Like, this is a melted disaster. Your whole house has to stink now. It's all burnt plastic and burnt marshmallow. It's terrible. Like, why? <laughs> oh, kids. You're out of the will. You are out of the will. There's not even a will, but you're out of it. If there was one, you have, you, you get nothing. You get this iron. That's what you get. That's your inheritance. This burnt up 
raggedy ass iron with marshmallows on it. Just imagine waking up to that. Your day is ruined. Ruined. So, this guy is unemployed, for sure, and probably not employable anymore. How do you, this is terrifying, actually, because I have children who ride buses. How do you smack, I mean, they didn't bump into the house. How fast do you think this bus had to be going to simply crash, completely crash into a home? Just slam through it, through it. And look, ironically, they have that nice picture of the, uh, the ceiling fan there. But, uh, I mean, bus number 19, you're having a bad day. That driver, dude, he's done. He's done. Because you're not going to convince me that I, I can't imagine what happened to make that happen. What ran out in front of you? What, I, what, what did you save to do that? And if there's kids on that bus, dude, no. Hit the deer. Just hit the deer. The raccoon, the squirrel. I, hit grandma. I don't care. You have kids on the bus. It's not okay. Slow your roll. Too much coffee? Too much vodka? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because if I'm driving a bus, I'm drinking vodka in my coffee. That's, I know that's terrible. But, you know, I can't. Couldn't drive a bus. <sighs> no. That'd probably be me. Driving a bus. <laughs> I somehow feel like the Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz had something to do with this whole setup. Like, you keep right, detour this way. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where? Where should I go? Just, I, I don't know. Do I just drive like this until I get somewhere or a ticket or pulled over or arrested? No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where the hell you're supposed to go there. It's more final destination for you right there. Because you're, uh, you, <laughs> where the hell are you going to go? Where can you go? I don't know where you can go. I don't. Second. Okay. Sorry, I've been really thirsty today. Anywho. Oh, this, my friends. Oh, this, my friends, is my dream. My dream. Oh, my dream. The pizzas are all over the... It's free dinner for life. Free dinner for life. I... They'd be like, ma'am, ma'am, you need to get back in your car. I will. I will. It's as soon as I give me three, four more of these Supremes. Okay. I got kids to feed. It's not my fault he flipped over, but why shouldn't I benefit from it? You can't sell these anymore. My kids won't even notice the gravel. They won't. It's fine. It's good. We That's what we're having tonight. These pizzas that fell out the truck. But that guy's having a bad day, for sure. He's another one that's unemployed. All these, actually, most of these people are now at the unemployment office having a really bad day. I'm just saying, if your day is worse than this, comment below. Tell me what happened in your day, because I want to know. I need to know about better stories than this. S sincerely. I need to know. Because, wow. If that happened to me, I'm just driving along, and wham! I flip over or smash into something, and there's... Oh, it's just pizzas everywhere. Not going to be okay. It's not going to be okay. But... I'm going to eat well for a while. Oh, guys, this one. Oh, so, okay. There is actually no description to this one. I mean, some of these give me a little bit of a description, but nothing to get excited about. So on this one, this particular guy, I can only imagine he was trying to hop the post as many drunk men do. I, I don't know why this is a thing. I don't know why when guys get drunk they think they're kangaroos and all of a sudden they can jump over anything. This is clearly a sign. It's not. <laughs> you're not a kangaroo. You are now who some kind of sexual assault victim, I'm pretty sure. I This is bad. This is so bad. Like, look at this poor guy. Like, he has a whole pole in his butthole. A whole pole in his ass. And he did it to himself. That's a bad day right there. Your day is definitely better than this poor guy's. Can you imagine oh, waking up and seeing this story on the news and it was you? It was you. You were the one. You were the jackass that had to try to outdo your friends. And now just look at you. You're just pathetic. Day drinking, right there. That was day drinking's fault. Day drinking all day long, right there. Oh. 
In case you don't know what this is, because so many people have gone to regular ink. Sorry, my nose is itchy too. I'm thirsty and my nose is itchy. It's an allergy thing. So, <laughs> most of you have gone to just normal ink. But if you use toner or like back in the day they had these ink cartridges. And sometimes this would happen. It would literally explode. Could you imagine being a teacher? And you're just doing some copies and the next thing you know just... <laughs> The entire room is black. <laughs> and now you have to try to explain to someone why the entire room is black. And you don't even know what happened, but you know you were the cause of it somehow. Dude, you know you're just in there trying to clean it up. Like, I don't really know what happened here. And those cartridges are outrageously expensive. That's, I mean, they're like $300. And you have blown the son of a bitch up. It's gone. It's, oh. No homework tonight, kids. No homework tonight. Tomorrow's not looking good either, because I can't copy anything. We done. We done with the copier. We ain't copying shit. Oh. Could you imagine this? Like, you're at work, you're a retail worker, so obviously you already hate your job. And an entire flat skid, I don't know what they call them, of olive oil crashes to the ground crashes to the ground and here you are with this mess and you're it's your shift what do you do that's the day you quit that is it that's the day you leave retail i gotta go i'm gonna go work at some other retail store because i can't do this it's five other grocery stores and i'm not doing that i'm not gonna do that i can't do that what you need like a hazmat team to come in this is terrible how would you even deal with you would have to close the store for like a week i feel like a week at least this is not getting any better anytime soon it's not oh you need professional help on this one like for real it's not good it's not good mm. definitely having a worse day than you and for the last one, guys, oh, whoo, this guy's having a worse day than anybody except for him. You, imagine it, okay? It's like your last hour at work, you're trying to finish up a job, you're trying, and you're in a hurry. You're in a hurry, which was your first mistake. And bam, now you've got a whole screw through half your hand, and oh my gosh, how do you, how do you even deal with that? How do you work with that? Do you just have somebody screw it? Back it back out? No. Blood's going to be everywhere. You are screwed. You need a hospital immediately. You now have tetanus probably and everything else. And he's just posing for the camera. Hey, look at me. I didn't screw <laughs> the whole screw through my hand. Not a good day, dude. Not a good day. I mean, now, you're probably going to get a day or two off, so that may or may not be good. I don't know financially how you sit, but this cannot be a good... I mean... There's not a good story here. This is bad. It's a horrible story. And man, I feel bad for him. I do. I really, really do. So anyway, guys, uh, you know, just when you're at work, especially, be careful. Keep an eye out. Think of things because anything can go wrong at any minute. You know, you don't want to be this guy. You don't want to be the olive oil person. You don't want to be the guy driving the bus that slams through a house. <sighs> so just, you know, be on your, be on your toes. Check out what's your surroundings and make sure things are going much more smoothly than these poor people. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, um, and thank you for all that do. And thank you for all that continue to watch me and support me. I really appreciate it. Uh, you guys have a great night and until next time, see ya. Bye.